Yeah! What's up, Fit Fam? Vic Oz here, you know, today's topic, I'm gonna discuss intermittent fasting, or for short, IF. I know a lot of people don't really pronounce it, like intermittent fasting, they say intermittent fasting. Personally, I don't wanna say intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting, because, um, it's too much work, so I'm just not going to say it. After doing a bunch of research and trying to figure out, okay, how can I take myself to the next level? How can I like, just try out different stuff? Try out different stuff so I can provide information for people. Because people ask questions all the time, and I want to be able to answer questions. And if I haven't tried it myself, how can I answer the question? Of course, before trying it, always do your research. Always do your research. And if you don't know what fasting is, fasting is pretty much when you don't eat for a period of time, and then you break it by eating consuming anything with calories people fast for uh like if they want to protest for spiritual reasons or even for health reasons and that's what we about to talk about gandhi said fasting is one of the best medicines because it cleanses your body mind and soul and even benjamin franklin was high on fasting because it cleanses your body and if you don't want to listen to benji you know what i mean benji he bought that, he bought that hunt. Oh, this is Jamaican, this, that's not Benji, but you get it, it's a hundred, you get it. So what is intermittent fasting? It's not a diet. And I hate the word diet, but we're, that's another topic for another day. Uh, it's more of a pattern of eating. So it doesn't necessarily change what you eat, but when you eat, that's the most important thing. It's not what you eat, it's when you eat. Pay attention. So you fast for a period of time, go without eating, and then you break it by eating. Intermittent fasting is not about cutting out calories. That's not what it's about. You still want to try to consume your daily caloric intake within that eating window. But three of the most popular intermittent fasting methods are the lean gains, aka the 16-8, where you fast for 16 hours and then you consume all your calories within an eight hour feeding window. All it pretty much is, the 16-8 is you skipping breakfast. So let's say, um, I eat from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then I fast all the way to 12 p.m. the next day. That's a 16 hour fast. Your fast begins after you're done eating your first meal. When you're sleeping, that counts as part of your fast. The other one is the alternate day where you eat for 24 hours and then you fast for another 24 hours the next day. 24, 24, I would never do that. The one that I love to do is the warrior diet where you fast for 20 hours and you consume all your calories within a four hour eating window. So for example, if I'm doing the warrior diet, I'm eating from, and I hate diet, I hate saying diet so much, it's so painful. I'll eat from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So my fast actually begins at 10. I can't eat after 10, that's it. So all the way from 10, all the way to 6 p.m. The next day, I can't eat. Now. I know a lot of y'all out there like, like there's no way that's healthy. You really shouldn't be eating like that. That's not good for you at all. You're wrong. First of all, our body naturally fasts. When first introduced to intermittent fast and I spoke to someone about it and they called it Hippocrates. To eat when sick is to feed your sickness. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, what? When you're sick, do you want to eat? Let's say you have a flu, you have a cold or something, you, you really don't want to eat. Why does that happen? During the process of digestion, your body uses energy to break down and digest food. Now, when you get sick, your body no longer really wants to do that because it wants to free up that energy it used to digest to fight the infection, fight the sickness. So fasting is actually natural. <laughs> Intermittent fasting has been a proven fat loss tool while keeping your muscle mass. Now there's a lot of science backing this up. If you think I'm just out here lying to you, I'm not going to lie to you. Now I'm not going to give you all, all the scientific background and everything, but I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. When your body is in a fasted state, your growth hormone goes up and your insulin decreases, making the fat more accessible. But when you're in a fasted state, your body has to get energy from somewhere, right? And because that fat is more accessible, it draws the energy straight from the fat. So you just share in fat constantly while you're in a fasted state. Really? Shoot, I'm, I'm fasting right now. Now besides fat loss, there are 
so many other benefits of fasting. Not only are you a fat burner throughout the day, but again, your insulin decreases, fasting prevents heart disease, lowers your risk of type two diabetes, uh, your joint health improves, and your lifespan extends. During this fast, you can't consume anything with calories. No caloric beverages, or uh, of course not food, because clearly that has calories. You could drink water, green tea, and black coffee. Now, now listen, I said black coffee. I said black coffee. You can't add creamer, because of course that has calories. And you can't add sugar to it. You have to drink your coffee black. Hence me saying black coffee. This has been a huge game changer for me. Initially, it was a little difficult. <laughs> I mean, because of course, I get hungry too. It definitely has allowed me to stay lean without worrying about being in the caloric deficit all the time. Intermittent fasting makes it easy for you to be at a caloric deficit because you can consume all your calories within this amount of time, whereas you're not just nitpicking and eating stuff all day. Intermittent fast has allowed me to treat myself a little more to certain foods um, because, I, again, I don't have to worry about calories that much anymore because I'm, I'm not constantly eating throughout the day. I have this time period in which I'm eating. So if I want to go ahead and sprinkle a little ice cream or something, I'm not saying y'all go ahead and eat ice cream. I'm not saying that. Twizzlers or something. I love Twizzlers, by the way, but I'm not saying go eat that. I can do it. That's what intermittent fasting allows me to do. And that's one of the main reasons why I say you don't necessarily have to change what you eat. Now, again, I still encourage everybody to eat right. You have to eat right. I'm not saying that you can still eat a bunch of garbage and still expect to accomplish your goals. And I feel like for a lot of people, implementing intermittent fasting is a shortcut or somewhat of a cheat way for people to still eat whatever they kind of want to eat and still lose weight. <gasps> and inter again, intermittent fast is not for everybody. You know, I want to say because some people they can't fight, they can't fight hunger. It's hard. Like, it's not that easy. If you're pregnant, I wouldn't advise you to do this. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> um, but the more you stick to it, the more your body get used to it, your body will adjust to it. And you'll learn that it's, it's, it's a great tool to use. Again, do more research on it and see if it's for you. It, it might not be for you. And I'm trying stuff with my body so I'll be able to answer questions and I'll be able to provide y'all with the information that y'all need to, you know, flourish, to blossom, to boom. Tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your mama mama, Tell your mama, sister, cousin, auntie, Lisa, uh... That's a long number. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. If you have any challenges or anything for me to try, leave them down in the comment section. Uh, like, subscribe, share. DM me on IG, Snapchat, whatever. It's your world. Thanks for watching. I'll be coming at y'all with more videos soon, more information to help y'all accomplish y'all goals. Cut. This is for my mama and my daddy and my grandma and my granny. Best believe I'ma be okay in the summer. I just woke up out my slumber. Afro thunder ready to rumble.